as a team of Dendro Robotics, we are in a mission to eliminate this manual scavenging and to rehabilitate these scavengers also. Try to uh, solve this big issue in a good way. By introducing this robot, we are solving manual scavenging, inventing a technology where this manual scavenging can be stopped completely. When we do the research, we identify that some laborers are doing this because they are they will not get any another job because of their one thing is their caste and second thing is that they are uneducated. So we were thinking about why can't we rehabilitate these workers? Introducing a technology to this area, we don't want them to be unemployed. We were thinking like why can't we train these workers to use this robot? The robot has two units basically. One is a control unit that all the control surrender phases are placed and which will be placed above the manhole. Inside that control unit, another part is a robotic unit which is, is similar like a spider-like structure which has four legs. Legs can be used for the stabilizing one robotic arm and a bucket system. And the system also has around seven cameras inside this unit. Diameter of the manholes varies from different areas. So it will be stabilizing inside the manhole using these legs and using this robotic arm which will be mimicking the all actions of a human being. So basically it will be grabbing the whole waste to this bucket container and it has many sensors as I mentioned the gas sensors are, are there and also the camera feed are there and uh, this machine vision and also the uh, uh, as I mentioned this all the technologies are there so what we did like we made a user interface the worker can see how the robot operates that there's an application which it says what to do next. On the launch of this uh, robot, it was operated by a sewer worker. After seeing that transformation from a worker, sewer worker to an operator was one of the happiest moments. Right now in Tamil Nadu, Andhra and Kerala, these things is really happening where the scavengers are operating the robot. Uh, the Bandicoot robot, um, as per the ratio we studied and, and we find out that one robot can clean up to 10 manholes per day. Manually it takes two to three hours and the robot will be cleaning the manholes within 20 to 30 minutes. With this presentation, what our aim is like uh, by the support of uh, ministries and center government, including there are many other missions working on these similar areas like Swachh Bharat mission is there, which is working on this area, Make in India project is there. If we get uh, support from them, we'll be able to deliver the robot in different parts of India as soon as possible. Right now, we have our own production center, which we are capable of producing 20 robots per month. And we want to increase the production and we want to reduce the cost of the robot, which makes the robot much cheaper and it can be implemented all over India.